Evening, folks. All right, I'm running a little late this evening. I do want to share something with you real fast. This is the winner's color rafter. It's called Blue Dreamer. That's what I'm calling it. This is The top is the color, yes, that changes, okay? It's called a color shift. It changes from purple to blue, all right? And it's got the pink lady belly, same as Rocky and Panther, all right? Now, I'm working with another color shift, too. I think I showed this to y'all another day. This one is a green pumpkin. It changes to blue, okay? I took it, and I put it on the back of this LC shade, just playing with it, all right? The bottom is not chartreuse. The bottom is, I mean, not yeah, I think I said that right. It's char it's char lime. This is char lime. You see the difference? It's got a little bit of a lime color to it. That's the belly. When you put two baked colors together, it changes them a little bit, guys. Changes the it changes the effect of them. They look a little different. I also took this blue that some of y'all commented on today. You liked? Yeah, it'll knock you down blue. And I put that blue on the bottom of it. What do you think of that? Yep. Pretty bright in it. That's a powder. That's a pearl powder is what this is on this blue, okay? Yeah, it made it bright, didn't it? All right? Then I took that blue, and I put it on the top of this bait. All right? And I used that uh, charline belly. Yeah, that's bright too, isn't it? Now, why am I playing with these colors? I always play with colors. I would fish with these uh, this weekend, okay? I'm working this week. I'm painting on a house, so <laughs> I've got to paint tomorrow. And I might take off Friday. Usually I don't work Fridays. And I'll, I'll try those. See how they're going to be. It's been so windy here this week. I am we bait painting. It was, I mean, uh, fishing, painting, fishing. It, <laughs> it was uh, so bad today, guys. About one o'clock, I had to quit. The wind got so bad, then it, then it got nasty looking. And by the time I left the job, like just a few drops of rain hit my windshield. So it's hard to paint, especially on a lighter outside when it's that windy. All right. But anyway, I'm playing with colors. I ordered a two and a half inch swim bait. It's the same as the fry. It's a Kitech looking like the fry is with the rings around it and little tail. That fry, somebody commented, man, that fry done good. We was fishing and we switched to the fry and we caught fish. That little fry, that little tail just wiggles up storm. I'm expecting that out of this two and a half inch. Swim baits are great. Uh, Pre-spawn, after the spawn right now, if you're throwing around, lay down trees, uh, that type of thing. Throwing around stumps, they're great. Throw it through, through some stumps and reel them back through. I have a two inch, the shiner, the fries inch and a half. So we're going to add a two and a half. In that two and a half, I wanted to add some of these brighter colors like this. It's going to be, I, I'm going to be able to shoot dual colors in that one, okay? I cannot shoot dual colors in the, in the shiner or the fry. I've tried to fry the mold set up where I could. It's individual ports. But when I try it, it's so small, it, it just don't get anything. It's like the grub. A lot of y'all asked me for dual colors in the grub, and I made some in it, and they're okay. All right, but that body is so small on that thing, the diameter of the body, that you don't get a lot of plastic on, and, and when you're shooting two colors in it. All right, so and you lose a lot of your colors. Uh, I made some I made some grubs a day for somebody, and I made the color twice as dark as I usually make it. To do that, I've got to do that when I shoot grubs. I got to make the colors twice as dark. Because there's not enough plastic there to get the full effect of the color, if that makes sense to you. And that's what happens on these dual colors when you go from a single color like this to a dual color. See, that makes, that makes a big difference. The more plastic you have, the difference the color is going to have. The less plastic you have, it changes it a little bit, okay? All right, guys, let's get a number going before uh, time gets past us here. I'd like to share with you all in this video what, what I'm doing and what's going on. Oh, I didn't move. There it is. She took off that time, didn't it? All right. This is why. <laughs> Twelve. All right, guys. Let's go. <laughs> let's go see what happens. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you all why I started at 10 instead of 12, or instead of zero. But uh, that thing took off. It took off and spun a little bit. And I, I was wondering where it was going to go. Was it going to stop? It does that. I have played with that random number a couple times. Sometimes I'll just hit it. Six or eight, ten times at a time. Watch what it does. And I, I try to guess the number. Nah, you, you don't know. It, who knows? And it'll do that. It'll run along a little bit and it'll slow down and it'll stop. And yeah, it's 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 a weird thing, but how it works. But it does work. 
All right, Scott won last week. 124 over, over, 200 over, 100 over, 133 over, 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 over. Can't go over the number. You have to be under 12. Yep, over, over, 24 is over, over, 280 over. Okay, I think you don't want to ask me about the colors. Yeah, this is uh, Diamond Pearls. Yeah, this hardly at me. Who, who, who was on I'll go watch it. Uh, 59, you're still over Donnie. 150. Okay, if nobody wins, I keep them myself. I get to win them. Yay. Uh, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, you, you should have got your baits. Um, everybody's up to date now. I've mailed out to everybody. Scott won last week. He should have. He might even have his by now. Uh, everybody's over. Need something 12 and under. All right, nobody won. All right, guys. That's why. That's why I start at um, 10. Okay, guys, you ready? We're going we're gonna to roll the dice again. Here we go. I didn't set it back up. And what I do, guys, when I set this thing up, I hit it a bunch of times. So, again, you never know what it's going to do. But I hit it about six or eight times for wherever I hit it. That way I know it's turning. I know we got 10 to 400. That's why I do. Y'all understand why I started 10? If it gave us two or four, I know we wouldn't have no winners. Somebody was leaving the number six for a while. I remember that. And I think they quit watching. And uh, see there? I think it's twice now they have done one, wasn't it? Here we go. All right, come on. 352. Now it's going to the other side. 352. Went from a low number to a high number. I think I told you, you never know. One, two, three. Oh. Okay. Poor cat in the right place here. <clears throat> One, two, three. Okay, blue dreamer, poor catcher. Back to the right place. Now we're 352. Now we gotta have to look closer. Nope. Too low, too low. All right, 65 shooter, 333. Three, three. We'll write that one down. That's close. He's under you. 333. So that'd be something over 333. Going on, going on, going on. 380, you're over. That'd be 376. You're over. It's number 352. That'd be something over 333. 350. Okay. We, we already have. No, we don't. Excuse me. 350. I said I had to stop and look, guys. We had 333. He's two. He's Lee. You're two. Two people. Two numbers under it. The number is three fifty two. You're three fifty. Oh boy, you're gonna make it tough on people, ain't you, Lee? All right. I see a number. Three oh two. All right, Mr. Lee Farmer. I think he's got the luck of the draw. I think he's won once this year already. All right. I remember that name. Right. He's from, he's not too far off. Okay, there you go, guys. Uh, like I say, the reason I share these colors with you when this swim bait comes in, I'm probably going to make it in flash to start off with. You can't beat flash. I mean, that's just a color you can't beat. All around clear water, you're not going to beat it. To light stain. Uh, Virginia Shad, maybe. I might just make it Virginia Shad instead of flash because we have the shiner in flash. Virginia Virginia Shad just has sharp juice flake in it. It's the only difference. Uh, but we have that way, we a little different. Maybe Virginia Shad. Uh, believe it or not, Blue Boy is not a big seller. It's a good seller in all the baits, but the swim baits. Probably uh, ice. And then I might, uh, I can't think of any other solid colors I want to make it in after that. Um, I'm going to do a lot of dual colors in it. That's why I ordered this mold, because I can shoot dual colors in it. And we'll find out when it comes in. That's the first thing I'm going to do, probably shoot a dual color in it. 
And uh, I want to come up with a couple of bright colors again, like this, uh, like this. And maybe I'm getting ready to order some more coloring tonight. I might order another color that changes. One from one that changes from purple to pink. Yeah, can you imagine that? And we'll make one like that. Maybe put the pink lady belly on that. Uh, so I'm gonna come up with some dual colors. I think killer would killer would be a good one to make it into. So uh, maybe even dipstick. It's a good natural looking color for it, right? So my mind's just a turn, and I'm making a list of a couple of colors I'd like to try. So y'all keep you uh, keep on the lookout for that. That's coming as soon as it gets here. I'll get it going. I'm gonna add this blue dreamer and uh, maybe a couple other colors I'm going along with to the site here shortly. I've got another color I'm working on. So uh, besides these wild ones I showed y'all tonight, I said more or less I'm going to put them in the uh, uh, swim bait. But I am thinking about taking this brown back one and putting a, uh, a real light blue or silver belly on it. I made it with a silver belly, and I made a video with that. That's coming up. It worked fine. So I'm I'm in the testing stage on that one, okay, on these colors. All right. Appreciate y'all guys. Love the feedback. A lot of y'all having good luck with the baits. Catch some fish on them. That's what it's all about. I like hearing y'all come back come back and say, hey, I caught a bunch of fish on this bait or that bait. That's what it's all about. That's why I'm making them, guys. To help y'all catch more fish. Something new, something different, right? Appreciate y'all guys. Hey, see y'all next week.